And of course, Waihanai father, instead of saying, I'm already married, looked at the girl and looked at the Platsera and said, I can't. I can't marry her. The reason I spent a lot of time in Wainaku, especially during the summers, is because it's my Hanai father's hometown, where he was born and raised. And he, he, had, he had a lot of great stories about growing up here. He kept an old newspaper article about himself playing on the basketball team at the old Wainaku gym, where he sank a 40-foot shot during a basketball game, won the entire thing. He was also a Golden Gloves boxer in the plantation camp. But there's one interesting story. At the time, he was already married to my Hanai mom. And one day he was walking through old Hilo town and he came upon the Fatsera. And the Fatsera in the Portuguese culture can either be a healer, a matchmaker, or someone to put a curse on you. Unfortunately, this Fatsera was the latter. He's walking through Hilo town. He sees the Fatsera sitting down outside a storefront on a bench with her 14 year old daughter. And she sees my Hanai father and she says, Daniel, come, come, meet my daughter. Look at her. She's eligible to be married. She's strong. She's tall. She has wide hips. She'd make a good wife for you. And you'd have lots and lots of kids. And of course, my Hanai father, instead of saying, I'm already married, looked at the girl and looked at the Flatsera and said, I can't. I can't marry her. And the old Fatsera said, why not? I just told you she's perfect. She's young, big hips. She can give you lots and lots of kids. My Hanai dad said, well, that's what I'm worried about. I mean, look at her. She's so plain and simple. I'm afraid if I do marry her and we have kids, they'll turn out ugly. And he walked off. That night, he said he had this horrible dream that he was sleeping. The curtains were open, the daylight was pouring into the bedroom. He was in the bed by himself. And all of a sudden, he jolted upright in his bed, looked toward the bedroom window, and materializing through the window was the Fatsera. He couldn't move from his bed. He was paralyzed in a dream, and she walked up to him and dug her fingernails into the side of his face and just gouged them out. He said at that point, he woke up screaming, jumped out of bed, ran into the bathroom, to wash his face because he was perspiring. But when he washed his face with the water, he said, he said his face, it stung, it burned. And when he looked into the mirror, there on his face, fingernail gouge marks, where the Fatsera had left her mark. True story.